Greetings. Today we're going to talk about how to renew an LDAP cert on your Jam Pro server. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your failover URL. So whatever your Jam Pro uh, server is with forward slash question mark failover. So we are not using a SSO account to do this work. We are using the failover. So once we're logged in there, uh, and if you don't have one, open a ticket with support and get one built. They'll direct you how to do that or just read how to do it. Um, we are going to look on our notifications, go to our cloud identity partners, and click on the first one in the index. We got a couple here in this Jamp Pro index. We're going to update. So we need to edit this configuration, delete the old dot p12 file and upload a new one and in this case we're using google as a cloud identity provider so we need to get the cert from them so over on the google admin we click into this ldap menu and we can see our jss client and we are going to download a new certificate So now we can see the old one. We will gen uh, generate a new one before this one expires. And to do that, we will click uh, generate a new one. But first we'll just uh, make sure the old one is downloaded, ready to go, just in case we need that. And now we can go ahead and generate a new one. Okay, so we are generating our new one, and it has been generated, and now we're going to download it. Okay, it is downloaded, and we're using a bit of a blur here because I don't want to show a ton of information about the new cert. Uh, and it's not absolutely necessary for the educational uh, purpose of this video. So we've got a folder on the desktop called PIM to P12 conversion because we got to convert this uh, certificate uh, data file, which has a .crt file and a .key file, to a .pim12 file. And we're going to use our command line tool to do that, which is open SSL. So Google that and read a little bit about that. But in a text editor, this is the shell or the example of the command we got to configure. So I've dragged and dropped my uh, files from the desktop into terminal and then copied and pasted them in row three, and then you're going to see the next one in row four or five. And that way I have the exact file path I need. So that's what we're doing here. If we drag and drop these into terminal, it will show us the file path. And then we can highlight, copy and paste as needed. Okay, so then it's just a bit of a matching it up. So you can see how we've done that in row 16 and then pasting back into terminal. Then you're going to enter a export password for this. Put it in your uh, password manager. I got a whole video on uh, this password manager that you just saw there quickly. Uh, but make sure you have that password in a password manager. Copy and paste it into the terminal because you're going to use it again on the Jamp, on the, your Jamp Pro server on the JSS side. So that's what we're doing now. We're just getting this password organized and then we will paste it in, verify it, and go forward with the process. And I'll have, uh, I'll copy and paste uh, the shell argument uh, frame for this converter into the uh, description below so you can just look at it there. Okay, so now we got our password. And we pasted it in twice, and so now you should be able to command tab 
and or use our mouse and see see that files there and it is so we have gone back in our jam pro we've edited our instance uh, go to our desktop folder we can see that keystore.p12 file that's been generated uh, and now we paste in that keystore password and save it out uh, we have two of these instances here so we got to do this one time for each of them. And now it tests the configuration and it's successful. So now we can refresh the browser and that bell icon goes from two to one. Okay, so now we click on the notification again, go back and we click on the second one in the index. We can do a control E or click into the edit, scroll down, same exact workflow. We're going to delete that certification, upload the new one, which expires in three years. So you only got to do this once every three years. And then paste in the password, click save. So if you have any reservations about doing this, get with Jamf support, ask them to send you documentation and review, ask them to do a uh, do this with you in a over a remote Zoom session so that you can reduce the risk of destroying your SSO access for your entire fleet. That would be bad. Okay, so we can see that this is successful for this uh, organizational unit as well. That's great. And now we got one last thing we need to test. We need to log in with SSO to Jamf Pro, make sure that's gonna work. So in a different browser and a new incognito window, that's what we're going to do next. All right, here we go. Uh, don't worry, you didn't over microdose today. We're just using a prism blur here to blur this login screen. But we are logging into the JSS through an SSO um, username and password and two step verification. It works. We know it works. Uh, that's great. It's using that new cert. So all we got to do now is just leave our ticket with Jamf open for a few days um, past when the old cert expired just to make sure everything's good to go. And if we messed anything up or there's something wrong that we didn't ex expect to happen, uh, we already got our ticket open. We can just escalate the priority and, and get some expert help on the line to go from there. In any case, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if there's links to documentation you find uh, useful or better than this, please put those in the comments below. Uh, the idea is to help everybody be a better Mac admin. Thanks for watching. We'll see you around.